throwing your next comic coming to the stage right now. Put your hands together for Austin Ingo. Keep going for James, everybody. What the fuck was that? Scoop. Nice shot. Uh, these guys in the corner are going to relate to this. I have a cousin with Down syndrome. <laughs> and um, <laughs> I want him to have a normal life, you know, like regular people, like these guys try to do. And <laughs> I decided I'd make him the manager of a secondhand store, you know, for people like him and call it hand me downs. <laughs> Women say that men are like parking spots, all the good ones are taken and the rest are handicapped. I'll be honest, if no one's looking, I'll take a handicap spot down. <laughs> Be in and out quick and no one's the wiser. Speaking of none's the wiser, when I was younger I pronounced words wrong, like I pronounce scallop potatoes, scalp potatoes, scalp potatoes. No one ever corrected me either until I was dating this Native American girl and asked her aunt, oh, Jesus Christ, was, or is that you? Until I asked her aunt if the Scallop potatoes were a family recipe passed down. She didn't like that. Yeah. If you put up your Christmas lights before Thanksgiving, that tells me you hate Indians. November is Native American Heritage Month. You trick your dad off with that arm? As I was saying, and I could probably teach you something here, November is Native American Heritage Month. I know your dumbass didn't know that. <laughs> and I thought it was a little messy, you know, that it's the same month as Thanksgiving. It's ironic in a messy way. It's kind of like Aaron Carter giving swimming lessons. <laughs> Sorry, big Aaron Carter fans in the crowd. It's my bad. That's too soon, no such thing. No such thing. Okay, sit down when you're throwing, Mom. I was 29 when I found out that November was Native American Heritage Month and... I wish your mom could throw that way. Dude, your mom gave me this coat. Shut up. <laughs> Can I get back to my set now, dummy? So don't talk about my mom and you fucking moron. I got a microphone, of course I'm gonna one-up you. <laughs> Anyways, I was dating this Native American girl and she gave me herpes. So I decided before I, we broke up, I'd give her an Indian gift of chlamydia. Talk about a clapback. Yeah, I just turned 29, I have a joke about Ted Bundy doing his best work at 29 and a lot of people talk about they grew up in the wrong generation. Well, how do you think Ted Bunny feels about Uber? <laughs> yeah. He would be racking up numbers unreal. He'd be taking out drunk sorority girls like Tequila Tuesday on an empty stomach. Yeah, it'd be a bigger epidemic in this country than Pete Davidson fucking all these supermodels. <laughs> Sorry, Pete. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Watch the dick too, okay? Thank you. Pete Davidson is dating a new supermodel, and I see all these people commenting, see, that's what happens when your dad dies on 9-11. And I don't get it. I see a lot of people also saying, I wish my dad died on 9-11 so I could fuck these supermodels. And I don't wish my dad died on 9-11 so I could fuck supermodels. No, I wish Pete Davidson would just die. Calm down. My friend's dad died and they had him cremated. So they put his urns up right next to the, in the living room and his friend, my friend would beat off by the urn. It was the only way he could get his dad to hang out with his kids. <laughs> Let that dust settle on that one. Oh. I, overheard, I overheard someone saying they hated pizza at work. How can you hate pizza? That's like saying you hate puppies. And only one of them barks when you put it in the oven. I'm kidding. I don't put puppies in the oven. They go on the pizzazz. Sorry if that one was rough. 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 Don't you 
you hate when you lock your keys in the car and you gotta jam that coat hanger in there? You know what I'm talking about? You jam that coat hanger in there and you just end up killing the baby? Oh. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Put some heat behind that one. Thank you, everybody. I'm Austin Ingalls. Yeah.